good good morning and jai hind dear children welcome back to your general knowledge class children i'm very happy that you all are completing your work regularly you all are doing very good work keep it up today we will cover the chapters from the section of sports and games we will cover three chapters pages number 43 44 and 45 chapters are code uh, codes and field sports tournaments self defense children, uh, children why sports and games are important we all know that sports and games makes us healthy keeps us fit keeps us um, active but do you know sports and games teaches us time management it te- it brings a discipline in our life in spite of all these things sports and games teaches us a very important lesson is teaches us how to be united uh, to respect elders to follow rules and it helps in making lots of friends so uh, sports and games teaches us to be social how to be social so our uh, today's chapter is based on sports and games now what is the difference between sports and games what is the difference can you tell me a game um, do you know sport can be game but, but a game cannot be sports a game is a physical or mental activity which we follow through some rules just for our fun enjoyment but what is sports in sports people players in sports player follow the rules specific rules just to compete with each other this is the main difference between sports and games now our first chapter courts and fields what is the difference between courts and fields now ch- children uh, cricket football baseball soccer are played on a field tennis volleyball and basketball are played on a court so what is court a court is a hard surface so that ball bounces very well on it and what is field a field is typically land with grass it is soft land better for running now do you know polo has the largest playing field now forward to our chapter this is our chapter first chapter courts and field now children before uh, starting what you have to do write down the class work and write down date now what you have to do in this uh, chapter these are the some fields and playing area uh, some courts and fields uh, playing area and you have have to identify this playing area and you have to write their names here in the help box names are given here you have to identify and then you have to write down in in this place so what is this can you identify the first picture yes can you identify the first picture this is very easy what is this this is basketball so basketball is played on court this is a hard surface so that ball bounces very well i already told you that ball bounces very well the ball will bounce and then it will go inside this net player has to put the ball inside this net now next what is this this is badminton badminton is also played on court and what happened here Chil- uh, players they hit the shuttle cock by this or uh, by the racket they hit the shuttle cock and this uh, this is basically two players games four players games now next is can you identify this picture 
yes this is hockey hockey is played on field and what is field field is a land with grass soft grass so that players can run very well very well it helps in running them so what happened by the hockey stick players hit the ball and they try to put in this net and it is a team game this is a team game basketball is also a team game these are team games now can you identify this picture yes this is cricket this is cricket and cricket is everyone's favorite cricket is everyone's favorite now once again let's uh, revise this first you have to write down the date you have to you write down the class book and then you have to identify these pictures and then write down the name of the pictures first is basketball basket and then ball two spell uh, two different words are uh, written together basket and ball basket ball this is basket and ball is put inside this basket next is badminton i told you player hit the shuttlecock through racket and this is a net in between one player is this side and one player is on opposite side this is two player game or four players game now this is hockey write down hockey and children do you know hockey is a national game also hockey is a national game also isn't it player they run and they try to hit the ball through hockey stick and try to put inside this net and this is cricket in cricket what players do players hit the ball through bat and then take runs and there are other players also they try to stop the ball so that players are, are unable to make runs once again basketball badminton hockey and cricket okay now let's move toward the second chapter tournaments now question arises what is tournaments a tournament is a competition for large number of competitors and all participating in a sport or game the purpose of sports to what is the purpose of sport tournaments the purpose of sports tournament is for um, athlete athletes or players to compete with each other and create a winner through finals okay now here you can see here are the some pictures of the uh, some tournaments super bowl tournaments wimbledon uh, is there and this is the grand national this is fina this is rugby this is grand prix and this is icc champions trophy seven here are seven sports tournaments picture now let's see further this is your page open this page and write down class work and date now what you have to do here here are uh, yeah here are written of some tournaments names of some sports tournaments and you have to match you have to identify these pictures and you have to match the name of tournaments through uh, through their sports which sports are, are of these tournaments so first tournament is super bowl so what is super bowl it will match with number one super bowl now next is wimbledon so wimbledon is match with number 2 b the grand national third is the grand national the grand national matches with number 
number 7. Now the four, uh, fourth is world, fourth is FINA World Championships. So FINA World Championships matches with number D. It, uh, it is the swimming championship. Now World Cup 7s. World Cup 7s matches to number 5. Then this is F1 Grand Prix. It matches to number 3. This is the car racing. Now ICC Championship Trophy matches to number 4. Now let's revise this. First write down the date. Write down the classwork. Number 1 Super Bowl. Number two, Wimbledon. Number uh, three is with F. F1 Grand Prix. Okay. Then number four is ICC Champions Trophy. Number five is World Cup Sevens. Number six. FINA World Championships. Number 7, the Grand National. Number 1, A. Number 2, B. Number 3, F. Number 4, G. Number 5, E. Number C, D. Number 7, C. Now, let's move forward. Self-defense. Now, this is the chapter about self-defense. Now, self-defense is very important for our safety, protection. And people of all ages are learning self-defense techniques. Now, types of self-defense are boxing, wrestling, and many types of uh, martial arts like uh, judo, karate, Now, this is your chapter. Self-defense. This is your chapter which is based on the martial art karate. And what you have to do, you have to identify the correct answer and put the tick over here. Okay. Now, first what you have to do? Write down classwork. Write down date. The writing date and classwork is very important. Okay, now the first question is, what is the name of the weapon made with two hardwood sticks joined by a rope? It is na, nunchaku. It is nunchaku. What is the name of weapon made with two hardwood sticks joined by a rope? Nunchaku. Now, what is the second question is, what is the color of the belt of highest order in karate? What is the color of the belt of highest order in karate? It is, just wait, black. So, children, black belt is the highest order in karate. Now, third, what is the first thing one does before beginning a karate fight? Yes, what does uh, before beginning the karate fight, what does the first thing they do? They bow to each other. If You must have seen in every sports and games. First, they shake hands, they wish each other and then they start. So, in karate, what they do? They bow. Now, karate is a combination of two words. Kara and te. So, what do these, uh, they mean? These two words means, it means empty hand. What do these words means? It means empty hand. Which of the following is not color of karate belt? Yes. Which of these? Golden. Golden is not the color of 
karate belt now karate is a type of yes karate is a type of martial art it is a type of martial art just now i already told you types of martial art are and in martial art the most popular is judo and karate once again let's revise uh, these questions first write down the date write down class work what is the name of the weapon made with two hardwood sticks joined by a rope nan chaku what is the name of the weapon made with two hardwood sticks joined by a rope nan chaku what is the color of the belt of highest order in karate black belt what is the first thing one does before beginning a karate fight bow what is the first thing one does before beginning a karate fight the players they bow to each other karate is a competition of two words kara and te what do these they mean empty hand karate is a combination of two words kara and te what do these they mean empty hand which of the following is not color of karate belt golden which of the following is not color of karate belt golden karate is a type of martial art karate is a type of martial art okay now this is the do you know section and these questions are based on sports and games children you will like this these questions you will enjoy these questions now first question is which sports person is called the flying sick yes can you identify a movie has also we had also been made on these uh, this player can you identify milka singh which sports person is called the flying sick milka singh now second picture you all must have identified which sports person is called master blaster sachin tendulkar which sports person is called master blaster sachin tendulkar now how many rings are there on the olympic flag yes can you identify just look count how many rings are there they are five rings blue black red yellow and green and these rings identify five continents and these uh, uh, these rings are are joined with each other you can see why because sports and games makes us united okay borders separate us country border they separate us but sports and games makes us united i already told you uh, when i started this uh, this section of sports and games i already told you that sports and games teaches us how to be united and helps us in making lots of friends so what does it teaches us it teaches us how to be social now what is the name of the person that controls a football match yes what is the name of the person that controls a football match can you tell me a referee a referee what is the name of the person that controls a football match a referee in which sport was mohammad ali the world championship here is the mohammad ali and he was the world champion in which sport he was the world champion boxing and boxing is a part of self defense once again let's revise these questions which sports person is called the flying sick 
Milka Singh. Which sports person is called the flying Sikh? Milka Singh. Which sports person is called Master Blaster? Sachin Tendulkar. Which sports person is called Master Blaster? Sachin Tendulkar. How many rings are there on the Olympic game? Five rings. How many rings are there on the Olympic game? Five rings. What is the name of the person that controls a football match? A. Referee. In which sport was Muhammad Ali the world champion? Yes, he was champion in boxing. Children, I hope you all must have understood all the chapters very well and you all must have enjoyed the questions of uh, the do you know section. Children, complete your work neatly. And I'm very happy, I already told you, I'm very happy that you all are completing your work. Complete your work and in a very uh, neat way and don't forget to send the pictures as you all are sending. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. We will meet again in the next class. See you soon in the next class.